welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel if you've been here before i'm vic styles freelance life liver and this is my wellness morning routine so basically i approach wellness as or in a holistic sort of way that means that what you put on your body what you put in your body what you feed your mind i think all of those contribute to your wellness and for me wellness just means being well and living a well life mind body soul spirit finances uh, even the space that you live in as you journey with me through my morning just keep that in mind also keep in mind or note that wellness is very personal it's very specific to you so while there may be things in this video that you're like yo i would never do this this doesn't fit with my lifestyle that's totally understandable but hopefully you take something that you can use um again i mean we all have different lifestyles different income levels we're different genders um different races different ages you know what what makes me feel well in the mornings may not make some of you feel well in the mornings and vice versa and that's totally okay so while you're ingesting and digesting my video as well as any other wellness videos out there just i invite you to keep that in mind that what works for one person may not work for you um, let's go the first thing I do whenever I wake up is oil pull. I've been oil pulling now for about five years. I like to use cold pressed coconut oil. Oil pulling is good for a number of things, gum health, overall dental health, teeth whitening, it can help prevent bacteria and cavities. Um, it's also good for detoxing the body. I typically oil pull for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, while I'm doing that, I'll start some aromatherapy, which helps boost your mood, reduce stress and anxiety, and can even give you a little bit of energy journaling is the most important part of my wellness routine i've been journaling since i was like seven or eight for me it's a way to process my thoughts and track my growth i've really been loving the five minute journal it's a quick and efficient way to journal every morning when you don't really have a lot of time Reading is also a fundamental part of my wellness routine. Although I read mostly at night, in the mornings while I'm oil pulling, I do like to get in around 5 or 10 minutes of a good read. Tea is a must for me every single morning. I'm not really one of those coffee drinking people, but I'm definitely a tea drinking person. Today I'm drinking CCF tea. It's cumin, coriander, and fennel. This is an Ayurvedic tea that helps with digestion. And whenever I'm feeling a little bit bloated, I drink this. I always prefer to use a raw and unfiltered honey. This is just because it's still full of all the antioxidants and antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. So you're gonna get the most benefit from using a raw and unfiltered honey. I just finished oil pulling. I bet you forgot that I was still doing that, huh? Anyway, now immediately after oil pulling, I brush my teeth. Once I'm done brushing, then I scrape my tongue. This helps reduce bad breath, removes bacteria, and it can help improve your sense of taste. Finally, I drink my tea and read a little bit more right before meditating. I prefer guided meditations. I feel like they help me tune in to meditating and tune out of my own thoughts more. I really like the ones from Broccolette. She's a black girl, they're short, they're sweet, and they get the job done. I take all of my supplements with room temperature lemon water. Lemon water helps aid digestion, also gives you a boost of vitamin C. Because of the snow and gloom here in New York City, I haven't been getting my normal vitamin D from the sun. I've been feeling fatigued and sluggish, so I decided to start taking a supplement for that. Super Beauty from Moon Juice helps promote that glow from inside out. It also promotes collagen and elasticity. It's just a good 
skincare supplement to have. Seed is a probiotic and prebiotic, so it's a symbiotic. It's good for gastrointestinal health, gut barrier integrity, gut immune function, cardiovascular health, all sorts of health. Recently, I had a herniated disc and I suffer from sciatic pain, and so A system radical relief helps to manage the pain and inflammation in a natural way. Because of my sciatic pain, I'm not really able to do a full yoga flow. So I do a couple of cat and cows, a couple of child poses and pigeon poses just to open up my hips and, you know, help my spine out. started with some arm circles and high knees and if you did not know that that was of course that might be because you're new here hi guys welcome to the workout i'm paula b i'm your best middle-aged fitness friend and here in the month yeah, you guys heard that right. I do middle age workouts mainly because she's the only person I found on YouTube whose sciatic workouts I actually like and don't cause me any pain. Uh, my motto for working out is a little bit often. I got this from a friend and I hold it very near and dear to my heart. You don't have to work out very hard or very long as long as you get your body moving a little bit. One thing I've learned with fitness is that the internet will have you fucked up out here. It'll have you thinking that you need to spend hours and hours in the gym, lifting heavy weights, sweating your life away, when in reality, you should just do what makes your body feel good. And for me, that's short workouts that are low intensity and low impact. I take chlorophyll drops daily in my water. This is something that my mom taught me. Chlorophyll is what gives plants their green color and one way that they get nutrients along with the sun. For us, it reduces inflammation, improves quality of red blood cells, detoxes the blood, and has even been linked to lowering the risk of cancer. I actually don't wash my face in the morning. I feel like face washing in the morning tends to dry my skin out, and I really don't need it because I washed before bed and didn't do anything except for sleep. So instead, I opt for my cellar water to remove any bacteria or buildup. If you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen any of my skincare videos, then you know Manuka Honey is a staple. I do this every single morning. It's full of antioxidants, it's antifungal, antibacterial, which makes it a saving grace for acne, anti-aging, dryness, and uneven skin tone. It's also a humectant, which adds moisture back into your skin, which will give you that glow. Wellness is about doing things that make you feel good. Wearing this makes me feel good. I'll leave a link in the description box for you. So smoothies aren't part of my everyday morning routine, but they are fun to make from time to time, so I included it in this video. I'm starting with a base of bananas. I don't typically mix my fruits and veggies together, so there's no kale or spinach in this smoothie. Next, I add some coconut flakes just for flavor. <laughs> a date for sweetness, oats to thicken it up a bit, cinnamon for added taste, moon juice sex dust, which isn't really that sexual, it just adds some energy. The Cara Life Metabolism Super Powder, which tastes great, boost your energy, and also really help speed up digestion. A little bit of almond butter to thicken things up. And some oat milk because I'm not a huge fan of soy or almond milk. I dry brush before my shower about five times a week. It opens up your pores, removes dead skin cells, promotes circulation, drains your lymphatic system, and it honestly just feels good.
Once I'm done showering, I moisturize up with some sort of oil or butter. I've really been loving this one from Butter Body. Um, it is black owned and really moisturizing. <laughs> Hunt for a non-toxic natural deodorant that works and also doesn't irritate my armpits has been a long one, but I found this one from Corpus that I've been using for about six months and I love it. My skincare routine has been really simple lately. I've been using clean beauty and mostly natural products that really focus on hydration. I feel like since I'm in the house and the heat is blasting, my skin has been really dry. Using fresh aloe on your skin can help fight acne and fade blemishes. It's antibacterial, it moisturizes, it also helps slow down the signs of aging. A top priority for me is using products that don't have harmful ingredients. Um, this is because wellness for me is about longevity, like what's going to have the best impact on my skin and overall health in the long run. morning drink for me is this deep load aid from gold this is not an everyday thing for me i really do listen to my body and then respond based on what it needs i felt bloated this morning and so i'm drinking this in an effort to relieve some of that i'm sure you noticed that when you watch the video uh, a lot of the things that i did were really short i did a 20 minute workout i did a six minute meditation five minute journaling. These things help balance me in the morning and they don't take a lot of time, right? Like sometimes people think you need 30 minutes or an hour to get all of this wellness stuff done in the morning. And unfortunately that's, or fortunately, that's just not always the case. Your wellness routine can be as long or as short as you need it to be. Um, thank you guys for being here with me. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you took something away from this video that you can carry with you throughout your wellness journey and your practice. Um, as always, if you like this video, please thumbs up, like it, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, thank you. Love you guys.